Welcome back guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install um, sound packs, drum kits, sample packs, however you want to call them inside your FL Studio 20. And whenever you open FL Studio, uh, FL Studio 20 or FL Studio 12, I'm not sure for FL Studio 12, but FL Studio 20, and um, you have your browser open. I'm going to reopen it so that you can see. So when you open it, and uh, you have different options here, right? So when you go to this one, all, and then you scroll all the way down, you should see packs. So packs is one of the sections that you have access to. And uh, that is where you need to dump uh, your folders for your drum kits, uh, sample packs or sound packs. It can be voice, um, just beats or simple loops, whatever we're talking about, sound effects, everything. Let's say you just downloaded um, a new uh, sample pack and you wanted to add it to FL Studio 20. These steps are very straightforward. I'm going to show you right now. So here I have uh, a zip folder, which is um, a starter pack for uh, dubstep beats. So I have a few voice samples, a few sound effects, I believe, um, a few loops, etc. So what I want to do here, if I open this, you will see that inside of uh, of that uh, cymatics um, pack that I just downloaded, there is one main folder, which I am going to extract right here. So what I can do actually is just extract this whole thing. So I'm going to click on extract all. So extract all and we'll show you um, the path where you want to extract. So in my case, I want to extract to um, my FL Studio tutorial folder, which is inside my downloads folder. And uh, it's quite heavy, uh, a couple of hundreds of megabytes, I think. So now I have it right in here. And if I double click on that folder, I have my drum loops here, uh, which are divided. I have a uh, build up, full, etc. Um, right. So um, I can view more of them. I also have sound effects, uh, synthesizers, and some vocals, etc. So now I want all of them to show in here. What I have to do simply is take that main folder here, which contains everything. I'm going to take this. You can uh, press uh, Control C to copy the whole folder, or you can right click and uh, select copy. You can also do cuts, but I prefer copy. I just find it safer. Then you go to this PC, Windows. I'm running on Windows. I'm sure uh, Mac users have uh, similar steps. So uh, now I just have to go to Program Files, x86. Then I, um, I find the image line folder. I've had different versions of FL Studio installed on my PC, but I want to let them reflect in FL Studio 20. So I double click on FS020, I go to the data folder, I go to the patches folder. Now I select the packs folder. And the packs folder has all the uh, legacy uh, sample packs, drum kits, sun packs, whatever. I don't even know what word to use to describe them, but it has everything. So I can simply uh, left click anywhere here on this window and select paste. So I've pasted this, now I have Cymatics Dubstep Starter Pack. I'm going to go back to FL Studio and I didn't even have to, I don't have to refresh anything, it just reflects right here. So let's see if uh, whatever I downloaded is reflecting. Indeed, I have drum loops, one shots, FX and everything. Um, and it's the same folders. I can double click and it's gonna play uh, a sound. Well, uh, right now I'm recording this video, so. I've blocked the sound from my system, but um, if I was to use it normally, uh, the sound will actually come out. So that's pretty easy. If ever you forget uh, how you you can find these packs, simply right click one of your existing packs, uh, like the legacy one, for instance, left click it, uh, click on Windows shell menu if you are using a Windows, click open and check the path right here and you should be able to copy it. And from there, you can quickly click on packs and see where you should paste your new um, 
your new sample packs. So um, that's how you do it in FL020. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please subscribe. Um, click on the notification bell. Uh, make sure you like this video and you share it and dump your comments. I'll catch you next time, guys. I hope this helped you. See you.